Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Q&A and, and I asked you guys some questions in my ask me some questions for my Q&A video and I actually did get a lot of questions so thank you so much and I'm actually going to try to um, answer all of them so let's get on to the video. I can do a Q&A part two if you guys want after this video just comment that in the comment section down below in this video if you guys want a part two hey guys so the first question is from petite pets so thank you so much for commenting some questions and i would recommend going and checking out her channel she does lots of awesome videos on her guinea pigs and hamsters and things so yeah i would recommend going and checking out her channel so yeah thank you Okay, so the first question is gave me quite a few questions to answer, so thank you so much. So let's get on to the first when one. When did you first get a hamster? So my first hamster was Chai, obviously. Um, I don't know if you guys knew that, but yeah, I decided to start my channel and um, I did tons of research before getting a hamster and yeah, he was my first hamster. I know that might be surprising to a lot of you because mostly when you're starting a hamster channel, you've had a lot, but yeah, Chai is my first hamster and I got him on March 15th. So let's go on to our next question. Okay, so another one of our questions is, will you ever consider getting more pets? Well, um, we do have quite a few pets, and yeah, I will consider getting a few pets. My next pet might be like a cat or something, because I know my mom really wants a cat, so that's probably the one pet that my mom would actually want to get right now. But yeah, that's basically what I think would be happening. The next one is, what are your thoughts on guinea pigs? So, I actually really love guinea pigs, and I think they look adorable and um i really like watching them play and stuff but um the amount of pets that i have right now i don't really know if i'd be able to get one not in the time frame right now because you know it's just a little bit hard with the amount of pets i have but yeah i my thoughts on guinea pigs are really good and i really love them the next question is what is your favorite hamster name um i really really like the name little bear and chai and i really like the name like vanilla and honey but my favorite name would have to be my hamster's name. I just really, really like it, but I really like a lot of hamster names, and I see a lot of people with hamsters, and I know Petite Pets has a few really, really cute hamsters. I really like the names of her hamsters, like Butterscotch and such, and her other hamsters, but, um, yeah. So, yeah, I really like, like, those kind of names. They sound really, really cute. The next question is from Piggy Time. I recommend going and checking out her channel. She does guinea pigs and that kind of thing. So yeah, I would recommend going and checking out her channel. So she said, how many pets do you have? So I have cats, one dog, hamster, bearded dragon. So all together, I have pets. Yeah, I have five pets. And like I said, dog, two cats, bearded dragon, hamster, and yeah. So I have five pets in total. And I love all my pets and I think they're really cute. So yeah, that's so that question. This next, um question is also from picky time and it is what is your what is your worst um owner mistake in a critter trail cage but he was only in it for a week and the lady said it was humongous we're like oh my god okay because we didn't really know at the time about bin cages and stuff such um but a week later i did end up building a bin cage which i do have a video on so yeah that's basically my worst hamster owner mistake is purchasing a critter trail cage and probably also putting a towel on top of the bars of that cage and then um him basically shredding, shredding it to bits and it just looked crazy and so yeah and it was basically like putting a towel and fluffy item in his cage and he shredded it which is not good and um that's basically my worst hamster owner mistake um purchasing that critter trail cage but we did get rid of it within a week so yeah that's good any of your pets ever have have to or have been to the vet so yes my pets have been to the vet a lot of them like a lot so um i think you're guarding like 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 sickness like that kind and so like not like shots and neutering and such but um so obviously my cats and my dog's been to that but nothing for serious but um then my hamster actually did get mites so we did have to take him to the vet and i actually still have some medicine that's like it looks over. like eggs and it smells like eggs and it's very so basically gross basically the only pet of mine that's really gotten sick and need to go to the vet is my hamster so yeah let's just go into the next question it's really cool okay so Basically, it is how did you get into hamsters, hemp hammies, start my channel, and like get a hamster so I can teach people that small cages are not okay. And I'm a big believer in not giving hamsters small cages. And yes, 
I have purchased a Critter Trail before, but I didn't end up using it for long term, which I would never do, and me and my mom obviously thought, wait, this is way too small, so I did get a 105 quart bank cage. And I'm probably going to be upgrading this cage soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, that's basically how I got into hamsters, and um, I know a lot of other people have had hamsters and started hamster channels, so I thought maybe I wanted to try it out too. And since I did a lot of research, so yeah guys, that was the last question, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So yeah guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!